so, so some of us will sit with him making those decisions. When we see you joining the other side of the house in a way that is a bit demoralizing, we feel a little bit low. So I want to ask you kindly to be magnanimous, to appreciate the challenges that we face as a country, and to know that the president from where he sits is your number one supporter in terms of having funds to uh, implement your mandate. I think with that understanding, it will help the situation as we move on. Finally, before I call you, Your Excellency, to address these great people, let me ask everybody here, the executive and the legislature, let us focus on helping the president to succeed. I am persuaded from where I sit that that is the most important thing in the next two years. Those of us who campaigned for President William Ruto give the people of Kenya hope and assurance that you transform this country and their lives. We therefore have a duty to make sure that President William Ruto and his administration must succeed. Let us spend time and focus in activities and programs to make sure that the president honors his mandate with the people of Kenya. Other things can wait for 2026, but 2024, 2025, we must all be united and must focus to do whatever it takes to make sure that the president delivers to the people of Kenya.